Hi, I'm Barbara Houston, and today I want to talk about how I finally got smart about money after living my whole adult life in a financial fog. So I grew up, and the only advice that my father ever gave me about money was, don't worry, <laughs> which I loved. I thought that was great advice. And I, I never worried. I just spent money. I had an inheritance. Well, even after I found out that my husband was a compulsive gambler who went through my inheritance like Kleenex, I used to let him manage the money. And it wasn't until after our divorce that I knew I had to get smart. So I did. So I, I went to, to classes. I read books. I subscribed to newsletters. And I'm telling you, my eyes would glaze over, my brain would fog up. I just feel like I was reading Swahili. I, felt, I just felt stupid. And so whenever I, I feel stuck and I just can't move, I do, do what I always do, and I called a therapist. And I went to see a therapist. And I remember sitting there in our first session, and I said to him, Daniel, I really want to get smart about money. I really do. I just, I just don't know why I can't, but I really do. And then he said, he moved his chair and he said, now talk to me like I'm you, like I'm a voice in your head and I will answer you as you. So I said, okay. So I turned and looked at him and I said, I really want to get smart. I really do. And he, as the voice in my head, looked at me and said, no, you don't. And it was someone, like someone took the air out of my balloon. I couldn't argue. I couldn't debate. That's the first time I realized there was a part of me, a big part, that did not want to get smart about money, that did not want to deal with it. I was scared my parents would be angry. I was, I was really scared I'd make a mistake and lose everything. And I was scared that a man wouldn't love me if I got really financially successful. And so over the coming months, Daniel and I spent time exploring that part, really looking deep into it. And the more we explored, those, the fog started to lift. And I actually got smart about money. And I think that's why I know it is so important that most of the finance books, most of the courses, they'll work on the outer work, you know, the practical stuff, how to tell the difference between a stock and a bond and a retirement, how to do a retirement plan, which is all important. But unless you do the inner work, unless you deal with your attitudes, your beliefs, and the early decisions you made about yourself and money, you will not be able to step over those emotional blocks, which will always get in your way.